This short presentation um, is about volcanic activity in the UK and it's suitable for uh, A2 geography, particularly the AQA unit. So we don't immediately associate the islands of the UK with volcanic activity because there aren't any active volcanoes. But there's four examples shown here which are actually features of previous volcanic activity from, from volcanoes that are no longer with us. So uh, in the top left there, there is uh, Dartmoor, which is an example of a batholith, which is a, uh, an intrusion of uh, magma underneath the Earth's surface. Then in the bottom left there is... Um, Hadrian's Wall, which is an example of a horizontal volcanic sill, which is another type of um, intrusion. Then at the top right there is Giant's Causeway, which is an example of a lava plateau. So this is a point where lava comes to the surface and um, forms these basalt columns. And then at the bottom right there is Edinburgh Castle, probably the most well-known example of volcanic feature or volcanic landform in the UK. And this is a volcanic plug. So this map shows um, the variety of uh, volcanic landforms that are found across uh, the islands that make up the UK. And there's, well, there's two main, two main classifications that we've got. There's intrusive landforms and there's extrusive landforms. So um, intrusive volcanic landforms are formed when um, magma is forced to the surface, um, but in reality only a small amount of it makes it to the surface. So um, anything that doesn't make it to the surface uh, eventually leads to these intruded landforms. Um, which which solidify uh, underneath the the, the earth the earth's surface, and they're they're exposed much later on when um, overlying rock is is eroded or, or weathered away. By contrast, our extrusive volcanic landforms are are created when lava actually makes or sorry when magma makes it up to the surface to create lava. So um, and and again within that there's two classifications. There's basaltic. Uh, lava landforms, which are formed up of uh, magma, which is um, generally very low in silica, and it makes it very, very fluid, um, and allows gas um, to to be within it. And it also these gas bubbles um, expand, and they prevent the sudden explosive activity, which is associated with our second classification of extrusive volcanic landforms, andesitic and rhyolitic lavas, which are formed from very silica rich. Um, acids, uh, sorry, magma, also sometimes known as acid magma, um, which is by contrast very, very viscous. This often solidifies before reaching the surface, leading to a build-up of pressure and ultimately gives very, very violent explosions. And you can see also there that this sort of triangular-shaped um, icon shows us where where fault lines um, are or, or, or and, and, and have been across the islands of the UK as well. So this diagram allows us to think about three particular igneous intrusions, three particular um, landforms created by um, igneous volcanic activity. So um, the first one to think about is right at the bottom of the diagram there, uh, which is called a batholith. Okay, and the batholith um, is what we have at Dartmoor. So batholiths are formed um, deep below the surface when large amounts of magma cool and, and solidify. Um, as the magma cools slowly, large crystals are formed in the rock, and that leads to the creation of, of granite rock. Batholiths are often uh, dome-shaped, and they get exposed by later erosion. Um, this is the case, as I said, in Dartmoor, but, but also the Isle of Arran in Scotland is an example of a batholith. And they can be several hundred kilometres in diameter. So they often lead to you know very very hard rock very resistant actually to erosion and weathering so they do create um high upland upland areas in, which is the case of course uh, with with dartmoor there is another feature which is um similar to a batholith but on a much smaller scale which is something called a a lacolith a lacolith and um these are sort of lens shaped or or mushroom mushroom shaped features we'll we'll have a a quick look at those a little bit later too the other two features to look at here are, are dikes and sills. Now, um, the difference between a dike and a sill is that a dike is a vertical um, intrusion and a sill is a horizontal intrusion. So you can see here that the, 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 the dike is formed going from, from, um, from the batholith further towards the surface 
and what they do is they, they, they go straight through this what layers of what we've got here, which is um, sedimentary sedimentary rock. And they're often form in, in groups or, or swarms. And so many of the Scottish islands, um, such as Skye, are formed by these, uh, by these dikes, these vertical intrusions. Then coming off the dike, we've got a series of sills, which are horizontal intrusions. And they are going um, along the same lines of the bedding planes in the sedimentary rock. And the best example of a sill is um, called the Great Wind Sill, which um, has, has Hadrian's Wall along part of it. And uh, sills and dikes are commonly made up of a very hard uh, uh, igneous rock, which is called dolerite. dolerite. So this diagram... Um, allows you to perhaps understand the way in which those features that I just mentioned um, are formed in other sort of cross-profile diagram, uh, cross-section maybe, is probably the better word for it. Uh, anyway, um, you can see here on the side that there's there's a lacolith, a lacolith which is a, um, a smaller version of, of, our, of our batholith which is lens-shaped or a bit like a mushroom. Um, now just to think about this feature here, volcano, very commonly understood feature that you, that, that you will know about, and um, the way in which Edinburgh Castle has been created in that is that this um, the red section there that runs up the the, the magma shown there, um, that is uh, you know the magma the magma um, rising up to the surface, and um, over time what, what's happened is is in the case of Edinburgh the sides of the volcano the um, material has been weathered and eroded away, and you're just left with uh, the plug, the plug which sticks up proudly there um, and um, which Edinburgh Castle is built upon. And that would have been an ideal uh, defensive site, so a very, very good place to, 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 to build a castle. So the final landform to, to talk about is the one that was associated with those basalt columns in the Giants Causeway in County Antrim. Um, and this is the result of what's called a, a lava plateau, and you can see this picture here. Lava plateaus normally occur at two different um, types of uh, situations. The first one um, being... Um, a uh, fissure eruption, which we can get in um, constructive plate boundaries. So a fissure eruption is what uh, um, the eruption of um, Eifalap Jokul uh, was in Iceland. That's a fissure eruption. And then we also get uh, these um, these uh, uh, lava plateaus associated with hotspot activity. So um, they also occur um, in the Hawaiian Islands, for example. So what happens is this fissure um, opens up, and um, the start the the, uh, the lava flow is, is quite quite large. It's uh, extensive um, because of the fact that it's basaltic lava which comes out, and that can um, that can flow very very easily. Um, and generally, it leads to to, to to landforms which are flat and without much um, much feature. So there we have it, a quick tour of the volcanic landforms that you find in the United Kingdom. So a batholith on Dartmoor in southwest England, which is a volcanic intrusive landform. Um, and then another smaller intrusive landform, Hadrian's Wall, which is on the England-Scottish border, which is an example of a sill, a horizontal volcanic intrusion. Then the Giant's Causeway, which is a lava, lava fissure with basalt columns in Northern Ireland. And then finally, Edinburgh Castle, which is a volcanic plug.